guys, Jennifer here. I'm here to share a project with you. I've had a few people ask me you know, how I do my altered glue bottles and, and one of my subscribers had asked me if I could make her a sleeve for her glue bottle and I thought, oh my gosh, she's genius. Her name is Lisa and she, oh, she said that and I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? So I have the Fabri-Tac bottles that I usually cover because I think they're super ugly. <laughs> Sorry, Beacon, but I love the glue. I just like to have things that are pretty. The first one I did was this one and it has very little glue in it and it's probably dried out, but this is an idea that we got from Scrap and Happy XO. Jeanette and she made hers with some book pages a long time ago and so I made mine a little bit shabby chic and this was my first one that I did so I just added a few little bit of laces here I covered the seam I have these book pages I added a flower here some trim some rhinestones a piece of material to make a bow and then I painted the top and then I added a little charm dangle. Which these glue bottle tops are great for the charm dangles and sometimes the the paint does come off after a while but you can just touch it up a little bit. So that's one of them. This last one I have here is one that Violet made for me and it is so pretty. <laughs> She used some linen fabric in the background and then some eyelet trim, some lace here, and then this beautiful lace that has some pink satin to it. And this pretty flower here. And this really vintage trim at the bottom. And then she added this here and a little piece of something at the top. And you can see my paint's coming off a little bit. So I need to touch that up. But isn't this really cute? And so I'm probably halfway through with this bottle. And I thought, oh my gosh, if I have to keep doing this, I'm not going to want to throw away my bottles, right? But I do kind of like the paper, but I'm going to try to do something here a little bit different. So I have a new bottle of this Fabri-Tac. Oh, I want to show you something else too here. I have my small little bottle of art glitter and I always put like a doily at the top, a little doily or this is a piece of tatting from Linda Lace Lady. She tats um, these little pieces. I'll leave her information below and then I just glue it to the pen so I don't lose it. But I also wanted to decorate this bottle because eventually this part here will get wrinkled from squeezing the bottle so much. So but I'm gonna show you how to make, make it for the Fabri-Tac bottle. So what I did was I cut a piece of linen and I just kind of made it approximately this size. And what I wanna do is I wanna add some of this Velcro to this side here. So that way when I get a new glue bottle, I can just attach this to the new one and not have to redo the bottle over and over again. So I'm just gonna roughly estimate the size and I'm actually gonna cut this in half. Okay. I want a thinner strip here of this. I'm gonna cut it down the middle. So this is already sticky.
There we go. So now that is nice and tight around the bottle there. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll be back. While that is drying, I took it off and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna paint the cap here. I like to use chalk paint because it seems to stick better. I have this one and then I have this one. I also have this pink one. I think I'll go ahead and use this drop cloth. I'm just dabbing it on so that it gets thick enough there. Cover up that red color. Of course, if you like the red color, you don't have to paint this. You can skip this part. can give that a few coats of the paint if you would like. I'm gonna let that dry. So while all of that is drying, let's go ahead and make the bead dangle. In fact, we might not even need to because Doreen includes all these really pretty pieces in here already that we can just clip right on to the glue bottle itself. Now, I had shown this kit prior to today. This is the Precious Bits kit. So if you did get this kit from Doreen, you can use this kit to create a little dangle. I really love this little pink one with the scissors. That is just so stinking cute. But let's go ahead and create a little bead dangle. So if you don't like to work with wires and stuff, th these um, bulb pins are so great for that because you could just dangle pieces off of there and then you can attach it right to your bottle. But I'm just going to add a few beads to this. Like in, this is just a, a jump ring here. I like to get the really thick gauge ones just because they don't fall apart as easy. And I don't mind mixing colors, but like, so example, I mean, if you just wanted something simple, you could just hang that right to your bead, uh, to your bottle, the top of your bottle like this, and then close it off. Okay. Um, or we can add, I, I don't have any chain with me. Normally I would add some chain and then you can have different lengths. Look, we've got these right here. These two would look so cute. Okay, so I could add a little bit of this tatting right on there too. Like that, and then have that hanging from there. This is so cute. Oh, it's so hard to cut that tatting. Let's see what else I have here. Let's see if I have anything else I can hang. Oh, I could hang something from here.
Let's do that. Let's hang this. Let's open this up. Can't see very well. <laughs> I can hang this right from this jump ring. Like that. That is super cute. And I can attach it to my glue bottle. Like so. And have just a little, a little dangle there. Of course, you can create something way more elaborate than that. And how I'm going to hang one of these off of there, I think. This one with the scissors is perfect. You don't even have to do anything. All right, so now we can go ahead and get started on creating this. So this is going to go around this way. So this is the outside. So I have all of this. Now I want to cut cover this edge here. Let's see. This would be super duper cute. I love this eyelet trim. So you can see that this is going to be like this. That looks so cute. Go ahead and cut this. Trying to get it on the embroidery so it doesn't show through. Okay. Whoops. put this one here So full of glue right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add this one. This one is so cute, it's got the hearts on it.
Next, I'm gonna add this really gorgeous, oh my gosh, this gorgeous trim. Oh, these really are precious bits, laces. <laughs> So pretty. I didn't want to cover up the heart, so I'm kind of bringing this down a little bit low, lower. gonna be so pretty guys look at this oh my goodness so cute This fits perfect around here. Cute. Yeah. I'm gonna beat my husband's butt. Cause he keeps talking to me while I'm recording. Oh my God. He's like, are you recording? He could totally see I'm recording. What a character that guy is. Okay, let's cut this. This fits so perfect. Oh my gosh, it couldn't fit any better than that. Okay, then I wanted to add this one. is that oh my goodness my glue is exploding here put the lid on it okay so now I'm gonna put this here if it's perfect so you can see here what that looks like so adorable. Okay, let's put this on. All right. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna use this art glitter because it's got such a fine point. Okay guys, so I left off here yesterday and I wanted to finish this bottle today. 
We are so close to being done. I just had to go do make dinner last night and take care of the fam. So I ran out of time. So let is let's get this done today. I love using this um, art glitter glue for these tiny laces because I can just get right in there. Maybe it's just a... Actually, I think I was going to use this lace on this side. laces are perfect love them Doreen these are amazing little laces okay so that all right so now I usually like to decorate either the front or something in here so like on this one Violet put this really pretty flower and then on this one I put this flower on the bow so you guys, if you got the laces kit, you got this pumpkin thing, this little um, applique to make like a pumpkin embellishment. And Doreen had gifted me this with, um, uh, to be able to show you what a finished piece looked like. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for my embellishment. it was perfect oh my goodness so I just need to make sure that I have it centered such a cute little embellishment so since this is like a pumpkin embellishment, this could be like a really cute little fall. Your, you can change your glue bottle covers out for the season. How cute is that? So this could be like one for fall. Guys, it is so cute. And then there's the back. And then to take it off, I would just lift this off there. And now, I can add this really cute little snippet dangle right here. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how stinking cute that is. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. That is just adorable. Now I have a really pretty bottle here. So you can see all my little glue bottles. And there we go, you guys. How cute is that? Isn't that so much prettier to look at on your table than, than a regular glue bottle? So pretty, guys. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye for now.